What's happening? You're probably wondering. What's the deal with that background? I am house sitting for some family peeps. It's just me, a cat, and a dog for a few days. Good times, good stuff. But that's not what you're here for. You're here for me answering the questions that was asked on the community post I posted a few days ago. And uh, yeah, here's the video. So uh, let's do it. Starting off with the first question, I'm going to start from the bottom up. There's four questions here. Well, five, because one of them is a two-parter. Um, and I'll link the channels who uh, ask these questions down in the description below. Feel free to check them out. I don't know if they upload videos or not. If they do, what's up? If they don't, also, what's up? So let's do it. First question, Fallout 5 or Elder Scrolls 6? Which game do you want to come out first? Realistically, I know that Fallout 5 is going to become, I mean, not Fallout 5, Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be coming out first. Um, but what I would like to come out first is Elder Scrolls 6. Yeah, yeah, I want, like, I would like to see Elder Scrolls 6 come out first. Um, because I like medieval settings, I like post apocalyptic settings. There's plenty of medieval games right now, plenty of post apocalyptic games right now. But right now I'm feeling a little medieval, a, a game that I could sunk many many hours, turns into days, turns into weeks, turns into months, turns into years into. And uh, yeah, Elder Scrolls 6, I very much like to know where it takes place. I think that'd be pretty sweet to know that. And uh, yeah, Elder Scrolls 6, I would like to come out first. What would you consider is your top five game series? All right, starting off at number one, my number one favorite game series is Metal Gear. The Metal, Gear, the Metal Gear Saga is my favorite game franchise of all time. It always will be. Nothing will replace it. And, uh, yeah, I just love Metal Gear. And the game's keeping me waiting. But, anyway, the series is over. There are no more stories to tell. But there's plenty of stories to remake. So I think they should stick with that. But Metal Gear, my favorite, always. Second, Resident Evil. Because... What's funny is that the Resident Evil series does have an ending to it, I feel, when all bioterrorism is completely wiped out, but they keep coming up with new threats. I'm not complaining. It went from horror to action horror to straight up action, to, excuse me, to straight up action, back to horror, with Resident Evil Village being action horror. I'm into it. I'm not going to lie. I can't wait for Resident Evil 9. I hope they don't call it Resident Evil Apocalypse because that reminds me of the, dick, of the dick-ass Resident Evil movie, Resident Evil Apocalypse. Yeah, those movies are, uh, they're not good. So, yeah, that's my second favorite game franchise, Resident Evil. Third, game, third favorite game franchise, I don't have a voice to say the name with. So, The Legend of Zelda, my favorite game franchise of all time. It is a story that could keep going forever. Because as long as there's good, there will always be evil, and vice versa. And one thing I would like to see from the games is Link to never, ever, 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 ever speak. There's no need. Silent Protagonist works. And Link as a silent protagonist works. The game has the games have evolved uh, all throughout the series. I like to see Breath of the Wild slash kind of Tears of the Kingdom as a pseudo remake slash do over of the original Legend of Zelda. Because if you remember the original Legend of Zelda, you're just dropped off in the middle of this world, go wherever you want, do whatever dungeon you want. Same with Breath of the Wild slash Tears of the Kingdom. It's just the the, the fantasy setting, the story, the Triforce. Good stuff. If there's, I, from what I understand, the people who made the Super Mario Bros. animated movie are making a Legend of Zelda animated movie. One thing I ask, Link, shut the hell up. Don't talk. But there's only one thing he should say. Let's say the armies of Ganondorf are about to storm the Hyrule Castle. Link is behind Zelda with the Hyrulean army behind them. Link takes out his, he's left-handed, takes out his sword, gently puts his hand on the princess's soul, uh, shoulder, Put, moves her to the side and says, all stern and serious like, excuse me, princess. Dope. Fan service. Turning a cheesy ass line into something more serious and dope. Uh, but yeah, Legend of Zelda, my third favorite game franchise. My fourth favorite game franchise is Final Fantasy. Every single Final Fantasy game, save for maybe eight. And two, that two's okay. Eight, I didn't like at all. The story, I didn't like. I didn't, Squall, the characters, wasn't a fan. I beat it just because I could say I beat it. Uh, but yeah, the Final Fantasy series is fantastic. I love it. I wish they would go back to turn-based, active time battle turn-based. But I like how with the Final Fantasy VII Remake, what they did was they kind of had a hybrid of turn-based slash action, you know. 
attack, dodge, block, fill up your ATB meter, then select commands. Or you could do the classic mode where your characters attack, block, dodge on their own, and then you just focus on putting in commands. With Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, what I would like them to do is maybe tweak the classic mode a little more. Because with the classic mode with Remake, I don't know if I said, with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, what I would like to see is they tweak the uh, classic mode. Because with the Final Fantasy VII Remake, classic mode, they just stand there, block, dodge a few times, attack when they want to, and there are clear openings to attack. So maybe tweak it so he attacks more and dodges when necessary instead of all the time, or blocks when necessary instead of all the time. That's what I would like. But, nevertheless, Final Fantasy, my fourth favorite game franchise. Love it. My fifth favorite game franchise, I don't have one. I can't find one. I'm trying to find one. It used to be Assassin's Creed. And then you know how I feel about Assassin's Creed now. Um, but yeah, I don't really have a fifth favorite game franchise. I'm trying to find one. I'm thinking maybe Dragon Quest. But the only Dragon Quest game I beat was Eleven. Um, but uh, yeah. I don't have a fifth one. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Alright. This one. What is the worst video game you've ever played, and what is the best video game that you've ever played? One th uh, one that is perhaps not your most favorite game, but just the best game in general. The worst video game I ever played. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. There are plenty of stinkers I've played. Never beat, but I've played the worst one. Eh, I don't know. I was going to say Akari Warriors on the NES. That game was slow, tedious. Four long, boring levels instead of, like, 12 short-ish, more fast-paced levels. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, to be honest with you. I can't really think of a worst video game I've ever played. Uh, but the best video game I ever played. That's another tough one because there's so many good ones that I've played. Uh, one of the best is Final Fantasy VI. Fantastic RPG. Another best, Final Fantasy IX. Fantastic RPG. Resident Evil 4. So, Final, uh, Fallout 3, Fallout 2. Fallout 2 is the bomb. Never beat it. I got a good amount of time into it, but yeah, the best, my most favorite game, I don't have a favorite. I decided there's so many good ones, it's hard to pick out just one, so I don't have a favorite game. But I have a series of best games I've ever played. You know, Maybe I'll make a video on it, who knows. But yeah, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know the answer to that. Um, for the worst game, I will say maybe Too Human. Because I tried to use the right analog stick to work at the camera, but the guy attacked. I'm like, what? I don't know. The Car Warriors, like I said, slow. Four long, boring levels. So many bad games. So many bad games. So many good games. What is the game you would have loved to play through again for the first time? And if you had to sell all of the games in your collection except one, which game would you keep? The first one. I would love to play through Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain again. Without knowing what happens. Because that twist, as it was going on, I was looking at the screen like... And I had things going through my head like, wait a minute. And then after that mission and the revelation happens, you get brought back to Mother Base. And I was looking at Venom Snake in the chopper. And I thought to myself, I will never look at you the same again. Mm. Yeah, I would, I, like, I would love to play Final Fan uh, Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, for the first time again. Another one, maybe. If I had to think... I don't... Resident Evil 4. I would love to play that again for the first time. Just to be like, that was a fantastic game. For me, perfect blend of horror-ish and action. Um, yeah, but Metal Gear Solid 5, most definitely. I would love to play again for the first time. And if you had to sell all the games in your collection except one, which game would you keep? Why are you, keep, why are you doing this to me, man? Why do you do this to me? I don't... <laughs> which one would I keep? If I had to keep one... Because I have so many games from my childhood I never sold and still have. Um, and a game with a bunch of replay... Resident Evil 4. I remember, I've been bringing up Resident Evil 4 a lot. Resident Evil 4 has a, good, has a lot of replayability. Um, yeah, which one would I keep? Maybe I would keep... Maybe Skyrim or Fallout 4 so I could put mods in the game and... You know, keep adding to the content, maybe. I don't know, so many... That, these are some good questions. Really good questions. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry if I suck at answering them, but it's just... I don't know, man. Um, damn. Anyway. Those are the four questions. Five questions. I apologize if those answers weren't 
good, but I, it's hard to it, it's it's hard to pick your favorite game, worst favorite game, no, not worst favorite, best game, worst game, favorite, least favorite. So many games in the world that I have played, and it is astounding how many there are. And there's also it's also astounding how many I've started and never beat. Happens a lot. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the dislike button if you didn't. Hit the dislike if you didn't. No, hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the dislike button if you didn't. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Um, follow me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Trovo. Links in the description as well as the guys who uh, asked those questions. And uh, yeah, God bless. I will see you all later. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads. Uh, I don't know. It's Yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I love you and I will see you later. I'm going to go keep on hanging out with the cat and dog. It's going to be a good time. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and also, Baldur's Gate 308s. Because I'm still playing that. Okay. Bye.